Hey, welcome back, students. We're going to be learning how to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius today. And the process, again, here's my generic uh, blank uh, line here for the sample problem. Let's go ahead and begin by looking at the actual equation that's required to solve this problem. And typically in class, there's really one that we follow, and then we have to algebraically find the value for the Fahrenheit or the Celsius, depending on what we're looking for. But that general equation is the following. So it is degrees Celsius is going to be equal to the degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 divided by 9, or 5 ninths. This is the generic equation. And so you'll have to do some manipulation of the equation in order to figure out the Fahrenheit. But in order for us to do that, we'll look at that in another video. In this video, we're going to go and take a known Fahrenheit value and convert that to Celsius. So this is the proper equation for us. So let's go ahead and assume that we're going to take, say, 49.2 2 degrees Fahrenheit and we want to convert that to Celsius. The very simple thing for us to do here is to just take this number and plug it into the equation at this point. So all you want to do is plug it in and rewrite it. And so let's go ahead and do that. Degrees Celsius then is going to be equal to 49.2 minus the 32 times the 5 divided by 9. Okay, And so if you do that, uh, let's take a look at this and it does make sense to look at the operations here, the order of operations. Keep in mind that the order of operations calls for us to first look at any parentheses, followed by any exponents, multiplication, then division, addition, and subtraction. And you want to start off with the very first thing that you do always being the parentheses and the last thing that you do uh, being the subtraction. If you look at the problem, you're going to find that we have parentheses right here in this section. And so we need to resolve this. Either we need to take the 5 and divide it by 9 to come up with a number that we replace in there, or we need to take that into 5 ninths and just uh, go ahead and multiply it out to the 32. Depends what your preference is, depending if you're typing it into the calculator or not. For the sake of uh, brevity, what I'll do is I'm just going to go and do this step by step. I'm going to go ahead and divide the 5 by the 9, and then put that as a number inside the parentheses and go from there. And so let me do that for you now. So the answer here, uh, five, 5 divided by 9 is going to give you the following. It's going to give you 0 0.555, and it actually repeats quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and just report three sig figs here. And then we're going to multiply this times 32 after we have subtracted that from 49.2. And this is going to be the new equation on the next line. Notice that we still have the parentheses, so we need to go ahead and resolve this by taking the point 555 and multiplying that times 32. And when you do that, you're going to wind up getting, for this section here, you're going to wind up getting 17.77 repeating, minus, and plug in the rest of the stuff here, 49.2, and that should give you your Celsius. If I now take the 49.2 and I subtract 17.77 for it uh, from that number, that should give me the degree Celsius that I'm looking for. And so when I do that, that's going to wind up giving me the following number. 31.43. Since this is a degree Celsius, I know we have it here as degree Celsius equals to 31.43. But whenever you're reporting this number on a problem, you want to make sure that you're always including the degree Celsius in the final answer. Okay, so this is the answer here. The last thing that we need to take a look at is look at the significant figures. Notice that the original problem, or here at the very top, said 49.2 as the temperature of Fahrenheit to convert. We want to make sure that we take that here and take it into account in our final answer. So the first three significant figures of this final answer is 31.4. And we need to look at the 3 and ask ourselves, is the 3 here going to be greater than 5 or equal to 5? Since it's a 3, it's obviously less than 5, so we're not going to increase the 4. And so our final answer here is going to wind up being 31.4 degrees Celsius. And that is the final answer. So if you need to go back and review this, go ahead and press rewind. Here's this one problem. The process is the same for every other type of problem with any other number that you use. All you're doing is taking the number that they give you in Fahrenheit, plugging it directly into the equation, and solving using the order of operations. Remember to take care of your parentheses first and then subtraction at the very end. Okay? So if you have any questions, come and see me in class.